2024 is coming. Here's what's going to happen. Ah, it's that lovely time of the year when we all make predictions about what will happen next year. I feel good about these. Let's dive right in to my top five predictions for 2024. Number five, quantum computing finally starts being actually useful in some industries like drug discovery, genome sequencing, cartography, meteorology, maybe material science. This has been coming for decades, I know, but lots of smart folks feel like the momentum is finally reaching usefulness. Coming in at number four, generative AI becomes boring. 2023 was the year of fear and awe of large language models. 2024 will be the year of accepting their limitations and getting used to using them for things they actually do. Up to number three, cyber resilience becomes the buzzword emphasizing not just security, but contingency plans. Every company professes to take cybersecurity seriously these days, so the next step is to show you're prepared to weather any future attacks. Sliding in at number two, the beginning of the end of passwords as passkey gains momentum. Now, 2023 was about implementing passkey in the infrastructure, your browsers, your operating systems. 2024 is going to be about big services supporting it, educating the public about it, and making it common. At number one, mixed reality and augmented reality in the workplace. Apple is entering the mixed reality space, bringing with it all the attention that Apple brings when it enters a space. And all the people who've been using it from Meta and others will finally have people listen to them about what it's good for. All right, those are my gambles. Those are my predictions. What are yours? Make your predictions in the comments and we'll check back right here in a year. If you want more great tech news and information, subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash daily tech news show, or get our podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com. And if you get a little value out of what we do, support us at patreon.com slash DTNS. I'll see you there.